Talk Agriculture With Me presents Field Trips with a Farmer, featuring Chaz and his father Bill, founders of Merchant's Garden, an urban greenhouse. This video will take you behind the scenes of Merchant's Garden to show you how they produce leafy green vegetables and tilapia using aquaponics, all in a controlled environment. Merchant's Garden was founded based on a passion to make food accessible and affordable. It's a leafy green farm located in Tucson, Arizona, just a mile and a half away from downtown Tucson. It's owned by Chaz Shelton and his dad, Bill. They repurposed a vacant school site and built a 10,000 square foot greenhouse where they grow frigé lettuce, butterhead lettuce, mint, basil, chives, and a variety of other leafy greens. All of their produce is grown aquaponically. Aquaponics is related to hydroponics, or growing plants in a water medium instead of in a soil substrate. The difference between hydroponics and aquaponics is that aquaponics also involves fish. The fish are used as a source of nutrients for the growing plants. So, not only does Merchant's Garden produce leafy greens, but they also produce tilapia. Together, the fish and plants complement each other. The fish provide nutrients for the plants, and the plants filter the water out before it's sent back to the fish. In this way, it mimics a natural ecosystem. Merchant's Garden is a vertically integrated business, which means that they control every step of the process, from seeding, transplanting, growing, harvesting, packing, and even distribution. Before the plants are put in the greenhouse, they start out by being planted in a water absorbent substrate and placed under LED lights until they begin to sprout. Once they've sprouted, they're then moved into the greenhouse. They're stored on special shelves there and continue to grow while they acclimate to their environment. From there, each of those squares are broken off and placed within perfectly sized spaces on floating pieces of styrofoam that sit on the top of the water. The substrate that the sprouts were planted in floats right in that square at the top of the water, allowing the roots to grow down into the water where they can absorb nutrients and the leafy greens to grow up into the sunlight. A label with the type of leafy green and the date is attached to each styrofoam board. This helps keep track of when the leafy greens were planted and when they'll be ready for harvest. As more plants mature and are filled into the styrofoam boards, the older plants are pushed towards one end. That way there's a continual phasing from young plants to plants closer and closer to being harvested. When it's time to be harvested, the boards are simply removed from the water, carried over to the preparation area, and packaged. From there, these vegetables are sold either directly to consumers, used in school cafeterias, and even sold to restaurants around the Tucson area. While the different varieties of lettuce are harvested whole, some of the plants, such as the chives and mint and basil, are trimmed back and then allowed to continue to grow right where they're at. It's important to trim right above a node so that new growth can grow and sprout from the nodes below it. Merchant's Garden has five teammates, each with their own special skill set, such as engineering or plant science, that work together to help the business succeed as a whole. Because products such as leafy greens are typically eaten raw, food safety is a very important part of Merchant's Garden's business. Employees wash their hands and wear gloves when handling all of the food. If anything touches the ground or any other part that's not a clean surface, it has to be discarded. But not to worry, at the end of the day, all of that food either gets composted or fed to chickens. Aquaponics is actually one of the safest methods for producing leafy green vegetables or any sort of produce that's going to be eaten raw. This is because it's done in a controlled environment, as opposed to a field where animals such as birds or rodents have to be carefully controlled for so that they're not spreading diseases such as E. coli or salmonella onto the produce. In a greenhouse, it's closed off from the outside so they can control what animals, insects, etc. can get in. And fish typically don't carry harmful strains of E. coli or salmonella or listeria 
that could harm humans because they're cold-blooded animals and their systems function very differently. The kind of organisms that most commonly cause foodborne illness in humans don't survive in the fish and therefore are very unlikely to end up in your produce. When we toured Merchant's Garden for this video, Chaz shared with us his passion behind starting the company and how they hope to impact the community around them. Well, our hope and our aim is to make food accessible and affordable. Um, and that's the reason why we get up and that's the reason why we do what we do. Um, our hope is that folks that wouldn't otherwise have access to leafy greens do uh, because we've been able to build a farm in the middle of the city. We're one of the few farms in the state that actually accept EBT or SNAP benefits uh, as a direct retailer. Um, so we have a pop-up stand here that we sell directly to the community um, where we're specifically targeting folks that have uh, kind of SNAP benefits. We also serve a large amount of our food in cafeterias in schools uh, and so our hope is is that students um, yeah that can can fall in love with leafy greens um, and in addition to that we really want to provide uh, education uh, as well coupled with not just the leafy greens so we provide tours and field trips um, for folks to really engage touch feel get dirty uh, become a little farmer uh, and the hope is is they can then tell mom or dad or grandpa that, hey, this is something that I grew, I took ownership of that, I participated in the cultivation of this, can we purchase and, and eat this in our household? Um, yeah, the hope is, is, you know, the more that they engage in the production and cultivation of food, the more that they want to consume that type of food as well. Being located in the Sonoran Desert, conserving water is vital to any agricultural operation, and Merchant's Garden is no exception. Their water comes from the city of Tucson, and it's all used in a closed system, meaning that they use the water over and over. Thus, by continuously recycling the water back through from fish to plants to fish to plants, etc., etc., the only water that is lost is the water that's taken up for the plants by transpiration and a small amount that is lost through evaporation. However, because the water is covered by styrofoam and the fish tanks are covered, there actually isn't that much water that's evaporating just off the pools. The water loss from evaporation mainly comes from the evaporative cooling system in the greenhouse that keeps it at the temperature the plants need to survive. Strategically placed smart irrigation meters keep track of water consumption and the exact amount of water used varies based on the season. If you are interested in hearing more about Chaz and Bill's story, how they got started, and what it's like to run Merchant's Garden, look out for our upcoming video that will be the first in a series called Face of a Farmer, where we explore the lives of the people who produce our food. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon so that you can be notified as soon as these videos come out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any additional questions about Merchant's Garden, about their operation or how they grow food aquaponically, leave those in the comment section below and we'd love to help answer those. Or reach out and become personally connected with Merchant's Garden. Uh, you can check us out on our website, merchantsgarden.com. You can find us on Facebook or Instagram. Um, we'd also love to see you in person here at the farm. So come on by our farm our farm stand which is thursday friday and saturdays um, and in the near future here we're actually going to be offering public tours um, so we'd love to meet you there we'd love to learn about you and hopefully show you a little bit about our our operation